Mm-hmm. Otterdale Lakes, there is a large yeah. police presence scene after reports of a chase. Police surrounding a car there. Let's get right to local town, Sanella Sabovic, live on the scene with the breaking news. Sanella. Well, this scene cleared roughly a few moments ago, but this all began earlier this afternoon, roughly around 1230 or so, when deputies received a call for a possible armed robbery. They have detained two men now for questioning. There was two detained and probably 20 cops. A large scene unfolding in unincorporated Broward County near Lauderdale Lakes. VSO investigators say they received a call for a... Okay. To Mark Quavius. Man, if you're going to commit crimes, wear better shoes. At least something you can run in you're not going to run out of. You know, you may get grabbed. Yeah, we've seen the slides, though, a lot in these crimes. Everywhere. Almost you every know. time, to be honest, Chief. Yeah, that, which, which lets me know that they're not really tripping. Right. Yeah, that's a sign of, that's, that's, that's disrespectful. That's like, Man, I go do a carjacking and some slide. Go do carjacking and some fucking um, clock, um, crocs. I ain't, I ain't tripping. Ain't nothing gonna happen to me even if I get caught. Cause if you were, if that's the Yeezys you, he got on. Yeah, if you are those Yeezy slippers. Okay, if, if you face hundred, it's poverty. Yeah, if, if you facing, if you think um, you going doing a robbery or carjacking, you facing. 15, 20 years if you get caught, you wearing some fucking track shoes, man. <laughs> These guys, just, they just don't care. They're letting you know. This is their way of letting you know. It's like, it's like, tell me you're not afraid of jail without telling me you're not afraid of jail. Yeah. And then the guy's like, all right, and shows a picture of a guy doing a robbery and some fucking slippers received a call for a possible armed robbery shortly after 1230 that occurred along the 4800 block of Northwest 24th Court in Lauderdale Lakes. They followed a blue car they believe was involved, lost it before finding it again along Sunrise Boulevard. There was cops chasing them down Sunrise Boulevard. They turned in at 28 and they hit them, you know, hit them, moved and spun them out. And there was two guys in the car. They got them out later. Deputies detained two men, one in a black hoodie and another in a white shirt. A mother for one of the suspects arrived. Oh, that's the other one. Uh-oh. Did you hear that? Well, hold on. Mammy is on the, on the scene now. Mammy. <laughs> hey, yeah, they, somebody asked earlier, man, what's the <laughs> definition of a mammy, male? <laughs> somebody asked that. Somebody well, they, they're, they're the excuse. They're the constant excuse for this bullshit behavior. Yeah, but you had to call her that, though. Dude, it, it's always, well, he probably did this. No, dude, that's a fucking yeah, excuse, but, not a reason. Yeah, but you didn't have to call Brown Sugar that, though. <laughs> but she's yeah. always doing that, dude. That's mammy shit. I'm sorry. No, nah, nah, there's, all, nah, there's nah, always nah, an excuse for nah, the behavior, nah, man. And, and Mayo, she, she was, I remember nah, that night, she wasn't, she wasn't, she wasn't making an excuse. Man. She was saying, from a man point of view. Yeah, she was saying from, yeah, from a son man's point of view. Right. She wasn't making an excuse. She was only giving that, she was basically stating that perspective. I'm with yeah, you. I'm, I'm, I'm with you. That kind, of, that, that kind of stuff should be called out if someone is actively making an excuse right. for it. But, but she's not. Just, but yeah, someone just is stating what, what, a, what a different perspective would be, then that's different. It sounds like y'all are brown nosing for brown sugar, man. No, I mean, hey, yeah. Chief, I'm gonna call it how I see it, boss. No, straight, man. Right? It, she no actually, big deal. No big she deal. actually said that the guy probably did this, and she was not talking about the sun man. She was talking about the homeowner who got shot, shot at. Yeah, yeah. We, from, from, she was this. making an excuse from because the white guy no, probably said she didn't something. Say he to that. Got shot for it, though, man. She didn't say he should have got shot for it, though. She didn't say that. No. No, but she gave a reason to shoot at him. From a from a son, man. No, no, not really. Oh, but anyway, I digress. Yeah, man. I, listen, man. We gonna have brown sugar. Brown sugar be back, man. Unless you chased her away, but I hope you chased her away, man. <laughs> no, man. I, I, I hope I didn't either. It's just you know, I'm tired of hearing the fucking sugar, excuses. Sugar, tired of hearing about yeah. poverty and all this other bullshit. <laughs> brown sugar, the white man. She ain't. She ain't gonna. She ain't gonna let. She ain't brown sugar ain't gonna let nobody chase her off with just that, man. Come <laughs> on, we got yeah, brown sugar from Memphis, man. She's they they cut they cut better than that, man. Right. Um, let me see. Um, um, salute to Louis C, man. He says, "Yo, yo, you got MRM 
on here. That's what's up. P.S. I'm always having issues with sending money on YouTube. It's always saying it's an issue. But salute to you, man, doing big things on the PayPal, man. Salute to you, bro, man. Um, Luis, man, Luis comes through, man. He, he comes through from time to time. Salute to you, man. Appreciate you, bro. Um, but yeah, yeah, man. They they say you got MR, MRM on here, man. Um, so yeah, man, we got MRM on this bitch, man. Modern Renaissance man, man. Yeah, man, he in the building, man. So yeah, let's let's see what the man he's talking about. Deputies detained two men, one in a black hoodie and another in a white shirt. A mother for one of the suspects arrived on scene here trying to figure out what happened. If I'm talking in the mom perspective, I, that's not my son. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that's not your son? That's your fucking son right there. That's him or you wouldn't be down here because if that was not your son, it would be some other fucking mammy down there. But you're down here, so that's your fucking son. Dang. <laughs> she is denial. The, the, the she denial. Not claim him? She's saying that, you know, I didn't written whatever. He's out here robbing people with his little buddy and shit and we know that if if, if we get it that he's a juvenile so we won't get his record but if we could get his record i bet it's long as fucking shack feet and she talking about some that's not my son fuck out of here dang what happened if i'm talking in the mom perspective I, that's not my son you know what i'm saying because he does a lot of things as teenagers do but uh-oh she snitched on herself there it is Yep, there's there's that be there's that behavior. Oh, this is just acceptable normal kid shit. He does I'll a lot of things that teenagers do. Carjackings and robberies is just what teenagers do. And the tigers. Yeah, the these pills. are the trends now. That's not and that's why I hate the fact that when they fucking um when the malls get fucking crazy with the teenagers, they make all the kids need a chaperone. None of the kids can be there after a certain time. And if they come, they got to have a right. person over 21 at the fucking amusement parks. You can't get to the amusement park unless you have a fucking person with you over 21. And then they fucking do the curfew for the whole right. city. And all the fucking kids got to be in the house at yeah, fucking 10 o'clock. Even, even if you're straight A, you can tell. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah and, and it's these motherfuckers. The only motherfuckers that, are, that, that, that need to be in the fucking house are these motherfuckers. Them other fucking kids don't need to be in the fucking house at 10. Them other kids don't need a chaperone at the fucking mall. It's these motherfuckers. And they punish everybody for that shit. Don seen here mm. trying to figure out what happened. If I'm talking in the mom perspective, I, that's not my son. That's about you know what I'm saying? Because he does a lot of things as teenagers do, but he's not nobody to rob. What? I see why. Yeah. He was just minding his own business. <laughs> hey, modern. I'm just modern. I'm just glad the cops didn't hurt them, young man, you know? Thank God. That was man, good. come on now. That's you not know my how son. the cops do. You know how the cops do these young young brothers? They just show up and start shooting us. They they exactly. shoot and then ask questions. But these guys, these these this what happened here. Nobody's gonna talk about that though. Right. It was they, God. That was God that did that. <laughs> oh, hey, I was gonna say the greater the lawlessness, the greater the solution will be, which would just, <laughs> I guess, be a police state or some shit. Well, the, and the anybody here, state? if that was oh, your kid, yeah, we're pretty much there. Federal state is next. If that was your kid, would you be on camera saying this shit? Oh no. no! I thought she disowned him at first, but I don't know which one would be better to do. No, yeah. she said the person that did the robbery isn't her son. That's what her claim is, because her son doesn't do robberies. He does that normal teenage he does stuff. Normal teenage stuff, but he don't do robbery. No, <laughs> he do breaking into people's cars and stealing radios and stuff right. like that. You know, yeah. he, don't, Gee, he don't do the robbery. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. mom! Your kid just graduated. Yep. You know, it's the same uh, thing that we had on. I don't know if uh, you know that you guys hear about that kid that was fighting that police officer in New York. Yeah, in the subway. 
Yeah, we got to have him on. I got to talk with him and his mom personally, man. And y'all would have probably had a heyday with that one, but. Um, <laughs> to beat the shit out the cop. Yeah, yeah, we had him on. We got to talk with him. Yeah, yeah, and um, same logic with him. I, you know, he asked me, you know, if if, if, if I was your son and I did something like I, then I flat I was real with him. And he understood. I would have beat the bricks off of you. <laughs> I would have flat out beat the bricks off of you for fighting the cop. Then I would have right. got more information on whatever happened, and then if it would have came out to be true that you still end up initiating the fault this cop, then I would beat the bricks off of you again. You know? No, uh, and and guess what? Mama wanted to try to come to his rescue. Yeah, you don't understand all the... Oh, see, that's that's the issue right there. Y'all want to sit there right. and give these kids leeway to why they don't run. If kids do something wrong, they already... For one, the mother's already put it in these boys already. For instance, I'm just being real. An example of my marriage, okay? I've been married 21 years. Got a 20-year-old son, an 18-year-old son. I saw mm. from the beginnings I run my house. I don't care. When that comes out, I'm running my house. I saw the little games that my son them thought they would be able to get away with, with trying to make it seem like they didn't do something. So they go, Ma, I didn't even do something. Daddy, come here. I'm about to get you again right in front of your mom. What your mama going to do to me? You know what I'm saying? So what I'm saying that for is that I've seen plenty of times with kids that I mentor. If I get onto these kids, they moms will come up there. Uh-uh. So how come you get all, how come you got all into Vars face? And when they didn't know, you see, you coming up here, not even knowing what happened yet, already defending your son, because that's what they try to do, even in my marriage early. If I whip my sons, I did not let them go to my wife crying. Like she, oh, come here. You no, no, I ain't no come here. Go in there and sit down and shut up. You know, because what they, what happens is they end up having this thing in their head that if they do get something if they do something wrong and they get disciplined for it, all of a sudden subconsciously they know I can run to mom because mom gonna actually rescue me from this. So these women, when these when these children get in uh, trouble at school and mom always want to come up there and defend them. That kid's going to have a mechanism in his mind already that no matter what I do, mom going to have my back. Instead of mom sitting there saying, that's what you get, your butt going to stay in jail, or that's what you get, you're going to stay in detention. Or even if they get a spank within the relationship, no, your daddy whooped you, you shouldn't have been doing it, instead of trying to come to their rescue. So, so give us a... The pain is stick with them. Yeah, give us a rundown about your kids, though. What what what, what are your kids What are your, your kids um, doing right now in life? As far as... Oh, one is going to cybersecurity. The other one is going into something that might be in the medical field. Both of them, both of them graduated. The one my my eighteen year old, he just graduated just now. So when you say a rundown of him, my sons, the way they were raised, I mean, it's, it's, it's it was easy for me. And I know people, I know we have this notion out there where people say, you know, being black and raising your kids is hard. No, it's not. In my marriage, it was not hard to raise my sons at all because the thing is, I understood my role. I knew what I was there to do. And, you know, I, I'm not there to argue with my kid. I'm not there to negotiate with my kid. You to do what I say and shut up. Yeah, that's it. You do what I say and shut up. That's it. That, that, there was yeah, no can, one, two, three. Yeah, you can uh, yeah. If you don't mind me asking you, what, did, they, did they grow up around, like, in a gladder community or in a sunlight co- in a white community or a black community, Hispanic community? Mixed. All of it was mixed. We had black, we had white, we had Hispanic, we had Indians. They grew up around that. And the thing is, there was no... They didn't know the you know, the ethnics of the ones that grew around that they grew up around because we never talked to them about. I just didn't have to. So whenever they were out with their friends or something like that, I'll say, you know, who are y'all out with? Oh, we was out with our friends who such and such and such. They never knew the concept. Oh, it was that white dude or it was that this person. They just knew them all as being their friends. Right. Right. But one of the issues that people have, and like right now we have people to where these mothers that are the the kids that I mentor, they actually signed over like partial, like guardianship. And like, I'm I'm like, I'm not going to mentor your kid if I really can't, be there because I, you know, I'm not gonna do it. It's gonna be a waste of my time. And what I'm saying there for is this: a lot of people don't understand the concept. When I discipline kids, and I don't care, I will whoop somebody else's kid. But the parents sign off on, get permission for whether the mother signs off on it. And the reason being is because what I'm doing, I am checking a behavior in this kid at a young age that if it doesn't get checked, that behavior is going to continue on to become a part of this kid's character and his attitude. So now I check this age, stuff at the front door. My mm-hmm. age is too late. When you feel like you, it, man, it, it, once they get to this age, man, it's, it's language, a adolescence. When they start to, when, especially with young boys, when they when they hit around the adolescence age, and seventh already grade, seventh grade, eighth grade, what? I would say let's just give an age. Let's just say 12, 13, 14 ish. Seventh grade. Seven I grade. still can get. I still can get to them to an extent, but if I actually enter in to try to get to them at that age. It's a lot of characteristics and stuff that's been built in them that's already there that mom them already has said that they did not check. And it's going to be one of them deals where I'm like, with this kid right here, I know life is going to have to teach you. I can try to coach you with words and all that, but life's going to have to teach you. 
Now, some of them, depending on their size and their frame, I'm like, okay, I can get him because he only weighs about a buck 30. He might weigh about 180. I still can sit there and snatch him, throw him up against the wall, get in his face or whatever like that. But other ones, you can just tell by their psyche, they're all they're, they're too far gone. They don't give a F about life. They don't give a crap about their mama. They don't give a crap about nothing. They still going to go out there and be about their street life. So I'm like, all right, all right, well, be about that life then. Have so, you ever had a kid, um, like, try to, like, buck up on you and try to get busy with you? They, they tried. But it failed. They failed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> that, uh, and the reason why I say that is because, really, when they re, uh, when they get to that point, is really out of frustration. You know what I'm saying? I'm breaking down these barriers that mom couldn't do. They don't like the way it's feeling. They don't. They never had that authority come from a man at all. So already, it's already challenging them. But at the same time, I'm getting to them right here, and I let them know you can go ahead and swing all you want to. But I'm telling you right now, you're gonna go down. You, you are going, you've never been to fight in your life. You do all this talking, this crap like this. You tough around your mama. You tough around folks that you grew up around it, but you've never been to fight in your life. So I'm going to tell you how it's going to go. You right-handed, you're going to switch your right hand. I'm going to block it. I'm going to grab you by your neck. I'm going to choke slam you on the ground. I'm going to hold you down. I'm going to lock you up. You're not going to be able to move. And in the process, we're going to call the police. The police going to come over here. I'm not going to go to jail because your mom signed over guardianship for me to actually be able to do this. You know what I'm saying? And so a lot of people think, and they get tricked into this thing. Man, you can't touch your kids. You can't whoop your kids because you can go do y'all. Don't fall for that nonsense. Police going to come right over there. What happened? Da, da, da. Officer, he took a swing at me. I defended myself. I put him down. I locked him up. Oh, so he swung at you. Yeah. Can everybody else, uh, you know, can you guys concur that that's what happened? Everybody's like, yeah, Mr. Todd was like really talking to him. Da, da, da. And he swung at Mr. Todd. And then he going to tell the kid, well, I tell you what, Mr. Todd, what do you want? Do you want us to take him down? Or I'm like, no, we don't. we're not going to take him down. After that, now all of a sudden something happened to the kid psychologically. Now, you know that I'm in it for him. Quickly, He's like, quickly, yeah. Let me ask you about um, guns. Mm -hmm. What about any situations with guns with these kids? Well, involving you. It depends. Yeah, well, it depends. Well, here's the thing now, especially in Chi-Town. I'm just being honest. We, me and my brothers, I was packing at 10 years old. And we had a guy that was a, he was an ex-cop turned bounty hunter. He came in and he actually would take us out to the range and he taught us to respect the gun. He taught us how to break guns down and clean them and all that. He knew where we lived, especially in the Cabrini Green area. And uh, what he would say to us is that the gun is our shield. So we all knew that in Chicago, man, people was getting kids, was getting picked off left and right. I'm not talking about necessarily getting killed, but definitely kidnapped. Right. So we was packing. I had a I had a I had a Ruger. I'm 10 years old. And what uh, what we would do. We would walk to school and we get about a block away from the school. There's all kind of abandoned houses, abandoned buildings. We take the gun and go hide it like that. Maybe shit. What was that? Troll, that was a troll. Oh, okay. Uh, we would do that. So what happens is that I know in certain situations, when I talk to some of the mothers, that there are some kids. She's like, Yeah, and I know my son got a gun. I just get with him, I talk with him, take him through the same process the bounty hunter took me through. Now you know that that's what it's there for. You know that it's your shield, you know you're not gonna. You, you are not pointing that unless you're going to use it because unfortunately there is some kids that are in some very detrimental areas that they live in where stuff can go down. I mean, you got a whole wall. I mean, well, back that was back in the, I would say the early nineties where the police arts was allowed. They allowed us to come and look at the wall of kids that were still missing and kidnapped and all that. And about five houses down from us, some kids got kidnapped on Halloween and nobody knew about this guy. And we just found out who it was five years ago from my age right now. So I was 35 years old. We found out who got actually kidnapped those two kids that stayed a few houses down from us. So, and the police know this y'all, a lot of the police know that we can easily be kidnapped or snatched up and we just going to be another face on the wall. So they just pretty much like those ghost guns that go around. There's some kids out there that unfortunately I'm just real with them. Like, look, if you get caught with that, you know, what's going to happen, you know, but I, I understand why you carrying it. Okay, so yeah, man. Let's move along, man. Mm -hmm. I can dig it. And that mother identified her son as 18-year-old Kanye Eugene. Again, he and another Kanye. mother. Kanye. Kanye. No, <laughs> man. He got kids named after him now, man. That's how long Kanye been out. Wow. <laughs> mm. Wow. Kanye. That's why he changed his name and to Ye. Yeah, and it looked like this is a neighborhood. I bet they were out here robbing gliders. I guarantee you. I know this move. They out here in the, the, the glider neighborhood just 
out here robbing gliders. I bet they were. I guarantee you. Mother identified her son as 18-year-old Kanye Eugene. Again, he and another man were taken in for questioning. Once we get more information, we will pass it along on later editions of Local 10 News and on Local10.com. For now, that's the very latest here near Lauderdale Lakes. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.